Sonic Cinematic Universe X Sonic Boom Chapter 3 Reunited Part 1 Zoe, hey, you see Tails? Sonic asks, walking up to the vixen, Fox gets securely resting in his arms. Tails, no I don't think I have, but I did see Knuckles. He's at Mad Burger with the cutest little hoglet. He looks a lot like you, actually. This got the kid's attention. I see you've got yourself a little someone too. Who's this? Hi, I'm T Taylor. Yep. That's my name. Sonic could tell the kid was lying, so could Zooey from the looks of it, but they played along. Are you friends with that hoglet? He said his name was Sonar. I'm these names for Mamie's play? Nah, I'm very original. Sonic's comment was ignored in favor of Tails excitedly exclaimed that the mysterious hoglet with Knuckles could be one of his brothers. Alright, well if you see Tails, let him know we're at Ned Burger, okay? Sure thing, Sonic. Bye, Taylor. Bye, Miss Zoe! Mr. Sonic, come on! Sonic grinned as the kit tugged on his jacket. Right, all right. He ran over to Matt Burger, sliding into a seat next to Knuckles, who, as Zooey said, was there eating with a blue hoglet. Hey, Knox, fancy meeting you here. Hey, Sonic! Knuckles spoke, mouth full, earning a glare from the hoglet. Hey, no eating with your mouth full. You'll choke. Knuckles apologized after being scolded. Sonic couldn't help but laugh. Getting reprimanded by baby? Really, Knox? Speaking of babies, Hey kid, this yours? Sonic held out the fox kit by the scruff. The reaction was instantly... Tails! Sonic! I mean, uh, darn it. Guess the fox is out of the bag, huh? Oh right, we were keeping it secret. Um, you guys didn't hear anything. Sonic grinned as he watched his younger self try to convince them they heard nothing, taking his brother while he was at it. I mean, I already had my suspicions. Maybe Knuckles was fooled, though. Knuckles, who had been zoned out, turned to look at him. <sighs> What? Never mind. Sonic patted Knuckles on the shoulder. He didn't want to hurt his brain with the whole dimensional things going on. So if you two are with us, I'm going to guess your third brother, your Knuckles, is with our tails. That makes logical sense. The kit said, having the audacity to get snuggled up with his neckerchief. Sonic knew the second it was taken from him, he'd never get it back. Oh boy. Hopefully he doesn't try to give Knuckles a handshake. Sonic watched his younger self wince, rubbing his own hand. Oh yeah, if he does, well I hope he's okay with not being able to use that hand properly ever again. Is he that much of a brute? He's not a brute, he just doesn't know his own strength. He knows his strength, he just doesn't know that he shouldn't use it all the time. Sonic nodded, that sounded about right. So Mr. Sonic, is your tails like me? I'll tell ya. Your knuckles is not like ours. He's so intelligent. Sonic, upon hearing his hoglet self say this, checked his pulse. Ah, <sighs> I'm not dead. Do you have a fever or something? No, and I'm serious. He's a smart and caring guy. He's an amazing listener too. Knuckles absorbed the praise, grinning cheekily at Sonic. Sonic rolled his eyes, but couldn't help the fond smile that spread across his face. You're an okay, Sonic. By the I 10 for letting me keep the neckerchief. You lose points for scaring me by running off the mountain, though. Oh, how would you wound me? And after I carried you in my arms for hours, you tossed me aside by trash? The kids giggled, amused by his dramatic reaction. So, should we try to get our tails and your knuckles back? Or just sit around go be all? Well, are they anywhere dangerous? Psh, nah, Buddy Buddy Temple is a joke. They've got this. They're probably already on their way here as we speak. Sweet guy above, we're gonna die! If I don't make it, tell my plane I love her! Tails started hacking as he finished speaking, hunching into himself in the echidna's arms. Do not lose hope yet, Fox. We can still escape. You said this temple's purpose is to force those within to become friends. Why would it kill us if its goal is to make us bond? Tails had to admit, the echidna had a point, now. If only that point would stop the room they were trapped in from filling with water, that would be nice. Aren't we friends already? I think of you as a friend. And I you. There must be something specific the temple wishes for us to do. Tails looked around, trying to see if there was any sort of clue. That's when he spotted it. Some writing on the wall. What does it say? Um, when the moment comes that the truth reveals itself, the ultimate sacrifice will cement the bonds forged. <laughs> Different yet same. Who shall take the blame? Tails looked at Knuckles, 
hoping he'd have any answers as to what the temple's riddle meant. But he looks just as lost as him. Truth. Ultimate sacrifice. Wait a second, Blame. I, I think I know what truth needs to be revealed. Well then, go on. I'm the reason why you're here, why you got separated from your brothers. My machine, I had made a pretty dumb mistake and it malfunctioned and brought you here. I brought you into this universe by accident, and I can only hope that the other two signals I saw were your brothers. I messed up and I knew since, like a few hours ago, and I didn't say anything. I'm, I'm sorry. Tails could hear the rushing water come to a sudden halt. I forgive you. Tails looked up at the great Echidna warrior, who he had been certain would have been angry at him. And if I was, I'm certain that your current injury I caused due to a pretty dumb mistake. Would make us even? I guess. Wow, now I feel dumb for overcomplicating things. Well, since you're going to help me recover, the least I can do is help you and your brothers get home. That sounds like a fair argument, and if you try to back out of it, your next injury will not be a mistake. Tails gulped, the thought of Knuckles actually punching him to hurt him, sounding like a death sentence. I never! It would be very dishonorable of me to do that. This got a smirk out of the Echidna. A very quick observation Tails had made was that this Knuckles valued honor and wore his heart on his sleeve. Hmm, the water is gone. So it is. I guess now we get to the ultimate sacrifice part. Tails said as the wall opened up. Knuckles carried him through the opening and into what hopefully the last room. Inside was a door sealed shut and a button. It would seem that one of us might have to sacrifice themselves as the ultimate sacrifice for the other to leave. I'll do it. I'm her anyways, and maybe my friends could come for me after you escape? Tails was ready to stay behind if he needed to. He was sat down near the doorway, and Knuckles cracked his namesakes. To leave a friend, a member of your tribe, behind is a shameful act. You aren't staying here. Tails gasped as the Echidna began to crackle with a red energy, the likes of which he had never seen before. Even his eyes went from a royal purple to a fiery red. And neither will I.